Hi and welcome back. How about a discount code and learning a few faking your way to perfect skin during the party season and Christmas season. Now we're obviously going to be in a new Christmas and party season this year but I feel like you don't really want a full face of makeup. What you want is the equivalent of Christmas day pajamas. Something comfortable, but you want them to be perfectly chic and silk, maybe with a little marabou trim. That's this, but for your face. So it's something that's comfortable, easy to achieve, but will make you look groomed and polished on Christmas day without looking overly made up. I've also got a code for Aborium. This video is partly sponsored by Aborium, but if you've been watching myself and Joe Jones this year, you'll know how much I love that brand, how much she's completely obsessed with all of their CC creams, BB creams. You're gonna get a discount across the whole site apart from gifts at this time of year. Right, so where do we start? Aborium is obviously one of my favorite, one of my and Joe's favorite brands. It's a Korean brand. She's obsessed with all of their makeup skincare hybrids, but let me introduce you to some of my favorite skincare products. Do you remember I mentioned this back at the beginning of the year, I believe it was when it first came out. This is the Milk and Peel Mask. In five minutes, it sort of peps up and preps your skin to look its best. But instead of being quite a harsh, abrasive scrub or peel or mask, it's so super gentle, it suits all skin types. And it's a combination of, let me show you what it looks like. It's a combination of sesame, which is super hydrating, but it's got that sort of slightly clay effect finish. So what you end up doing is exfoliating the skin and hydrating the skin. You leave it on for five minutes, you wipe it away. I wipe mine away with a microfiber cloth or a flannel. Your skin has a real glow. It gets rid of that sort of dull winter skin really easily. It's a really, really nice one if you're thinking about prepping your skin quickly, like you've left it to the last minute, but it really, really works. It's really lovely and it does work in five minutes as well. So it's a resurfacing mask, but it's got sesame milk in it as well. So it hydrates. Um, let me just, uh, let me show you. So that's what it looks like. It doesn't really dry sort of the way a clay mask would, but you end up with this perfectly skin hydrated and happy and calm as well. It's a nice one to prep either the night before a big event or the morning of a big event. It's that gentle that you could use it and you'd have no redness or sensitivity at all. It's really lovely. If you love an essence, and we know obviously that Korean um, beauty is based around essences, then I'm still really loving the ginseng one. Ginseng is calming and soothing to the skin. So the idea behind an essence is it's your first step after your mask. So you would use your mask, wipe it away, rinse yourself off, and then use that on top. And it ba basically ginseng is super soothing to the skin. It's an antioxidant within the skin. It's super watery, but it goes on and it hydrates. And it gives you that feeling of a super lightweight hyaluronic acid. Really gently fragranced. It's a, it's a lovely kit. It's really, really nice. This entire range is really nice. Then, they're ones I'd mentioned before, but I want to mention a new one that I hadn't discovered before. They've got a pink primer and care, which, now this is really interesting, okay? I'm gonna introduce you to two new products which you won't have heard before. And if you want that no makeup makeup look on Christmas day, as I mentioned before, that equivalent of wearing a pair of satin pajamas on Christmas day when we're kind of relaxed, we want to look like we've made an effort, but we want to be comfortable, these are incredible. I actually saw these on another influencer's feed. Um, she's in her 40s and she was using them around her eyes. It's incredible. I've got both of these on today and they are really, really good. This is the Pink Primer and Care. It's a part primer, part skincare, part moisturizer. Let me show it to you, it's incredible. So it comes out lightly tinted, okay? But then when it goes on, it goes on as a sort of pale pink disappears to nothing but it's actually a soft focus primer but when i say a soft focus primer it works under makeup and i'm going to talk about the bb and cc cream so i would use this in place of a moisturizing lotion and what it does is it sits in all of the enlarged pores all of the fine lines <clears throat> it takes the light and it blows it back but in a blurred soft focused way it's really lovely this absolutely would go on all over your face and you could without a doubt go without makeup if you wanted to look like you had flawless skin but you're sort of faking your way to flawless skin honestly 
seeing is believing with this product it's really lovely that's the Aborium pink primer and care but it comes in a concentrated stick now why would you want a concentrated stick you might not want it all, all over you might want and I'm going to show you what this does around my eyes you might just want it around your eyes or it's brilliant around your lips so many people say to me I've got fine lines appearing around my lips I don't want filler what can I use and it's really interesting I don't know why these products aren't more popular and more widely available because they're incredible. So this is essentially a blurring stick. And what it does is it's a soft focus blurring effect. So you would wear it under lipstick. And what it does is it essentially just blurs away imperfections. It's really clever. It actually works better under makeup than over makeup, this one. Let me show you. Let me show you some lines in my hands, a perfect case in point. Lines in my hands. And then you move it across the top and it basically soft focuses by filling in those lines and those imperfections. Very clever, it's very clever. It works particularly well around lips. In my opinion, it works particularly well around lips. Now, you know Jo loves the CC cream. Now the CC cream one is the one that goes on clear and then bursts. The first time I ever saw her use this, she sort of just squidged it in her hand and without looking in a mirror, just applied it to her face. I was like, what the hell are you doing? You can't see what you're doing. And then I realized that what it was, was a clear product that bursts to release particles on the skin, like pigment particles on the skin. And it gives a soft focus glowy effect, which obviously isn't me, but oh my God, you're gonna love it. If you love that effect, I love the BB cream. The BB cream gives, it's naturally tinted when it comes out and it gives a more soft focus mattifying effect. So better for less than perfect skin like mine. I've got a couple here. Let me show you what the nude looks like. It's really lovely, this product. So it comes out like a tint and then goes on and then just releases the bubbles, got an SPF in it. When we talk about CC, CC creams and BB creams, nobody really does them better than the originators. And that is the Aborian one. It's basically your skin, but on its best day. And I've got it on today and it doesn't really look like makeup. It looks like your skin, but on its best day. Hydrated, happy, healthy skin. This is the future of makeup. I honestly think that, and I think Arborium do this better than anybody. So that's the BB cream, which is my favorite. It comes in three shades. Um, it, it, it's, it's a pigment, but not really a pigment. It's like a soft focus effect pigment. I mean, that's beautiful. That's just taken years off my hands. It's so lovely, it really is. Um, but the other thing I want to introduce you to is the CCI, which is the one that Joe's always talking about, which I think is really lovely. And let me show it around my eyes because I obviously have problems around my eyes. And what I've got is I've got dark circles and fine lines. So let me just show you here. And you often see Joe applying this around her eyes and you're like, I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you applying more products around your eyes? And she's like, you've got to test them out, haven't you? And then I realized what she was doing. She was applying a CC cream around her eyes, which essentially was soft focused hydrating and then the pigments burst. And so what you end up with is you end up with a no makeup makeup look and a vibrancy around your eyes. Can you see that? So you get a sort of light reflective effect. It's not like a concealer. It's like a CC cream in the true sense of color correcting. That's what CC originally meant was color correcting. You see, that's incredibly clever. It's just brightened up that area around my eyes. It's not makeup, it's makeup hybrid. However, there is one other thing I want to show you and I would go in and cover my dark circles with an extra stick. Joe probably wouldn't. And that's the BB cream, but in a stick. So this is the BB crayon and I love this. I, in fact, would probably just put the the pink blur stick around my lips, the pink primer all over, go in with the BB cream and then use this where I needed the extra coverage and let me show you how this works. So essentially, I love a stick makeup. I don't get pot makeups, I don't get putting your fingers in makeup at all, but I love a stick makeup and I'm gonna go on and show you the color I've added on my skin afterwards with a nude stick. Um, and that'll, that'll get you the idea of why I like sticks over pots. Okay, so here's a perfect case in point. Where do I need my coverage? There, and in fact, just in there, that's where my glasses have been. 
Don't need it all around my eyes at all. I just need it in specific areas. If I apply a sort of BB eye or a concealer here, it will make this pad come out. I literally just need it where the darkness and the redness is. And this is my all time favorite because what you've got is all the skincare benefits. I've got a bit of perioral dermatitis, which I'm just gonna cover up around there. All the skincare benefits and the hydration without the cakiness of a concealer. Look at how quickly that's covered that up. And then just in that dark shadow under there. And then suddenly the combination of the under ICC and the BB stick erases everything there but it doesn't look heavily made up it doesn't look like I've got loads of concealer on it literally just looks like I've got brightness around my eyes which I really like now I've got 20% off just use the code Nadine20 you'll get 20% off everything now's the chance with that discount code to try those cult products I couldn't recommend the CC cream the pink primer the BB stick and the BB cream enough um, it's very interesting if you can get the chance to test anything do but I do think it's a combination of that skincare makeup hybrid that gives women what they want especially when you get either either you're young and you want a nice easy going look or when you're slightly older you don't want a heavily caked effect with heavy makeup you want something lightweight but soft focus and that's what they do so the whole range I highly recommend it the milk and peel mask as well is such a great product Use the code Nadine20, you'll get 20% off the entire site, excluding gifts between now and Christmas. Now, what else have I got on my face? Well, I'm just gonna finish off my everyday easy makeup. Um, and I do it all with bronzers and sticks. So this is the product I've been using most recently. This is the Chanel Le Beige, um, and it's the, the bronzer, the, the cult bronzer. And I put it all over my face. I don't put powder on my face at this point. I put this all over my face and I use a short stubby brush. We've talked about this before. And what it is, is again, it's a soft focus cream to powder finish. And I go in here, under here, under here. And now this is the interesting thing. What I also do is use it as an eyeshadow. So let me show you. I then go back in like that and apply it just to knock back. I've got quite heavy hooded eyes. Um, and so it just knocks that back. This is a little trick I learned off Sam Chapman. So it just knocks that back there. So think about where you want the shade on your face. So you want it here, in the hairline, in there. And then I do a sneaky little bit under my neck. Such a great product. I feel like actually, interestingly enough, it almost falls into a similar sort of family of soft focus, creamy finish makeup that sort of blurs imperfections. Now, uh, I've also got a brow gel on because I need some definition in my face. So once you've soft focused everything and blurred everything, I think you need a little bit of color and definition. This is the Brow Revival from Max Factor. It's a really easy one to use. Again, all of this is kind of idiot proof. Um, tiny little spoolie. I am a brown and then I just brush it up and out in my brows. And the combination of the color and the gel just keeps your brows in place for as long as you want. Talking about me loving um, makeup sticks and crayons much more than pots that I don't like to put my fingers into. On my lips I've got the lip and cheek stick in blush from Nude Sticks. Such a nice colour. The secret is to keep them sharpened. So you do need a chunky sharpener to do that. They are really nice colours and again it's tonal with my blush and my blush is Orgasm by NARS. Um, it's a really easy thing to do. And then what I've got is I've got a little bit of liner on, classic again. I've got MAC Costa Riche eyeliner, both in the waterline and in the top of the lashes. And then I've essentially got uh, Pillow Talk push-up lashes by Charlotte Tilbury on. And that has pretty much been my look for the last six months. I do feel that it's a, it's a no makeup makeup, idiot proof, easy look that anybody can achieve. I always say if I can achieve it, anybody can achieve it. Now, if you get to the point where you just think you've got a little too much sort of, not shine, but there is a sort of glow to the BB and CC creams, then you can obviously always add 
uh, a translucent powder over the top. This is Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder. And I would literally just use it to sit around my nose and a tiny bit under my eyes. It doesn't sit in your lines, I promise. Nowhere else on your face. You want to kind of keep the glow everywhere else. That is my idiot proof guide to soft focus skin friendly skin makeup hybrids that are easy to use there's ways easy ways to prep your skin with a five minute peel a mask and then hydrate your skin and then go in with these new generation hybrid primer cc bb creams and bb sticks they're really really clever it's it's interesting that a korean company has taken skincare technology given it a hint of a pigment and you end up with this halfway house that is so clever it sits between both schools so it gives you that no makeup makeup look and then all you really need is a great bronzer choose any bronzer you like you don't necessarily need that one but i do like it because it's a soft focus effect finish you need a hint of peach so put across the cheek put across the lip and then a brow liner and a brown eyeliner and mascara you're ready to go it's that sort of i've just woken up and yeah i look like this and i haven't made much of an effort but you secretly have. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As I said, all the products will be down below. Use code Nadine20 to get 20% off the entire Aborian site, with the exception of gifts, uh, obviously in the run up to Christmas. But you're going to be sport for choice. You really are. I know for a fact that Joe Jones loves every single product they make. And she was actually the first person that introduced me to all of their CC creams and their BB creams when they first launched probably back in the UK 10 years ago, but they continue to push the boundaries with new and interesting skin and makeup hybrids. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you soon next week. Should we do Christmas gifts? Come on, let's have some fun.